Hi, my name is Luciana Yonkman, and today in this video, we're going to cover some simple record keeping that you can do on your dairy. We believe that if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. Running a dairy is like driving a race car. You've got a pit crew of management members and a driver or two. As a driver, you need to know three key stats, fuel level, RPMs, and speed. Your pit crew needs to know your oil pressure, tire pressure, torque, tread level, and so on. While there are thousands of data points that can be measured, there are still hundreds that can be representative of daily milk production, reproduction, health, and efficiency. Today we're going to focus on three measurable points that I would track on a daily basis. These are distinctly different than what we would measure or track for a management team meeting. As a dairyman, you have many responsibilities, but today we want to focus on three things. The start line, your fresh cow performance, your speed, your milk production and components, and thirdly, your fuel efficiency around each lap, your dry matter intake coupled with your production. Her performance at the starting line is of utmost importance. The future of her being in the race at all depends on or hinges on her performance on day one of lactation. I recommend that you keep a simple record of the first day milk and metabolic performance, which are an indicator of her start line performance. With a simple yellow pad, you can see that you can easily track the date, the cow number, her lactation number, and any issue that may have occurred at freshening and day one of lactation. By keeping these clipboards and information in a centrally located spot, any one of your pit crew members, managers, owners, consultants, can have access to it and adjust to, at any time, any deviation from the norm. Poor performance at the starting line can come in waves due to overstocking of a close-up pen, imbalance of the decad, the magnitude of daily pen disruptions, body condition of the animals, season, and much more. It is important, however, that plenty of effort be put into close-up or pre-starting line performance. For this video, we will not cover these details. We also may see seasonal swings that we want to prevent over time, and with a simple notepad, you can have a good tabular record of how she is doing and what, if any, needs need to be adjusted to on a given day or week. I recommend that you keep track of bulk tank melt along with any noteworthy comments that may help you understand shifts in her performance. You can see here, month by month, what her level of production is and what events may have caused an interruption of her performance, such as construction, rain, drying off, and so on. A simple table like this with these headers will help you see why and when you have spikes or dips in performance from day to day or a given month. Forage changes, weather, and so on play a big role in your daily production and performance. Taking note of these variables will help you assess the swings as you evaluate your daily production, or speed. By having quick access to a month-by-month -month production report, you can easily assess if adjustments need to be made due to a true change in performance versus a rare one-time event. Third, and equally important, is fuel level and feed efficiency. When we talk about fuel level, we're talking about daily dry matter per head per day. When we talk about efficiency, we're talking about the correlation on your farm of daily dry matter and milk production. Milk production is directly correlated to dry matter intake. Dry matter intake should always be a priority. It is a big mistake to look at efficiency alone. You have to maximize intake, but you have to maximize the efficiency of that intake. If you look at efficiency alone, you're missing a huge opportunity to gain marginal milk profit over and above her maintenance cost. Keep in mind that performance hinges on the quality of intake. When you combine high quantity and high quality intake, you have a greater possibility to maximize her output and profit. You can use a simple table like this one we provide our clients to measure true efficiency that couples intake and output. Keep in mind it's critical to analyze forages as well for true value that they bring to the ration and adjust the more consistent commodity side accordingly. The practice of knowing exactly what value your forages have helps you minimize your feed cost and maximize profit potential. Consider tracking one, fresh cow performance posted in an all access area, two, 
daily bulk tank flow with comments, three, dry matter intake coupled with production to get true efficiency levels on your dairy. We look forward to working with our clients for years to come. By having your finger on the pulse through management of your records, you can react effectively. And simple record keeping that we have covered in this video can help you get a quick look at how you are performing on a daily basis. In summary, we want you to measure it so you can manage it. Management of records leads to success, efficiency, and profitability.